old school buzz. Mike on America revving up with a racing legend to see why the booze industry is buzzing. Mike Hangitus is on America tonight, and he thinks he's found that new idea. It comes from the town of Madison, North Carolina. It sits in the mountains of northwestern North Carolina, Madison, a hill country town in which, at one time or another, more than one person has likely tasted a little corn liquor. Moonshine. North Carolina has long been known as the official moonshine capital of the world. Moonshine, illegal booze made in the backwoods of the American South and delivered or run by a legion of young men in fast cars along dirt roads, many of whom ended up becoming legends on the early NASCAR circuit. Men like Junior Johnson. Well, I've been involved in it about all my life. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's involved in it again. This Junior Johnson's Midnight Moon. That's his actual shine running car on the bottle. A premium legal moonshine. It's 100% corn. Um, it's small batch made, authentic copper still. Um, and then it's hand batched and handmade through the entire process. Joe Michalik is the founder and CEO of Piedmont Distillers in Madison, the only legal distillery in North Carolina. And what he's making here is premium moonshine, filtered water, thrice distilled corn liquor. And people are buying it as fast as he can make it. He started all this 18 months ago after years of running into the illegal stuff while at events all over the South. NASCAR races, country music events. After hours, after the sun goes down, someone would pull out a quart jar and we'd be sipping it. And after all those years, time and time again, I was like, this stuff is damn delicious. So he quit his job in marketing at tobacco giant RJR and went into the spirits business, an industry littered with the empty bottles of people who thought they had the next great idea. Except Majalik is convinced he does. Well, the world's full of vodkas and rums and bourbons, and when you go into the store, there's a plethora of products. But there's no one that has a real fresh idea, and that's what we're bringing to the table. We're creating a whole category of moonshine. So far, he has two. Johnson's clean version at 80 proof, aimed at a moonshine familiar crowd like NASCAR fans, and Cat Daddy, a flavored shine aimed more at the club set, a younger demographic. The appeal to both beyond the taste is that hint of history and illegality. There's nothing more attractive to people as something that they've never experienced before, and that might be a little taboo. Johnson, an equity partner, knows all about taboo. He ran shine for his dad and even did a little time before getting into racing, and he's convinced of two things. This is the best moonshine he's ever tasted, and today's NASCAR drivers... Do so you think these boys today could run moonshine? No. Takes a man to run moons. That's right. And these are just boys today. <laughs> these are boys we were looking at today, I see. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Is it Friday? Uh, it is in my home. It's going to be Friday soon, <laughs> I'll tell you that. On America, Mike Haggett of CNBC in Madison, North Carolina.